हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अफेयर्स क्लाउड माय नेम इज विकास सो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव एन एप्लीकेशन बाय द नेम कैरियर्स क्लाउड विच यू कैन गो एंड डाउनलोड थ्रू द प्ले स्टोर एंड वंस यू हैव डाउनलोडेड यू कैन लॉग इन विद योर जीमेल आईडी एंड व्हाई आई एम सजेस्टिंग यू दिस एप्लीकेशन बिकॉज दिस इज द वन स्टॉप सोल्यूशन फॉर ऑल द करंट अफेयर दिस इज द बेस्ट ऑफ द बेस्ट एप्लीकेशन एंड द प्लेटफॉर्म वेर यू कैन एनहेंस योर लर्निंग थ्रू हेल्प here you will be provided with multiple courses here you will be provided with multiple options of quizzes and even you here you will be provided current affairs on daily basis pdfs and quizzes will be provided to you on daily basis both in hindi as well as english here you will be provided current affairs with weekly basis and monthly basis also here remember once you have done watching our video then you can log in through this application take out the pdf read that pdf and go through the quizzes that will enhance your preparation same you have to do for weekly and same you have to do for the monthly also in monthly you will be provided with the top 100 important questions pdf and video also that will enhance your learning and it will be a very benefit and beneficial and important video for the revision perspective and not just this friends apart from this we also provide you banking and economic questions we provide you state current affairs such as of uttarakhand up tripura telangana and many more not just this apart from this we also provide you topic wise current affairs and the topics that we are providing you are really important these topics are such as national affairs international affairs important days sports defense science and technology apps and web portals obviously these are the important topics that are being asked in various exams across india so these are the topics that are must and should be covered and will be beneficial for the preparation of the students hello everyone so in this video we will be discussing important current affairs of the topic important days for the month of july the session will be very interesting so do pay attention till the end first question when was un international asteroid day observed across the globe so on 30th of june remember united nation international asteroid day was observed across the globe and it is to raise public awareness about the asteroid impact right and the hazard that it can cause and all the communication that can be down because of this near earth objects also so in order to raise awareness about the asteroid impact and to inform the public about the various crisis communication that can be taken at the global level in case of any asteroid passing through or any near earth orbit that is your neo what is leo low earth orbit neo is your near earth threat or near earth object threat then the first ever international asteroid day when was this observed this was observed on 30th of june in 2017 then 30th of june marks the anniversary of the earth's largest asteroid impact recorded in the history right that occurred in 2000 uh, in that occurred in 1908 on 30th of june that is siberia tungska event correct so it is on 30th of june next when was your international day of parliamentarism 2023 observed across the globe by un with the theme parliaments of the planet so when do we observe this international day of the parliamentarism it is observed on 30th of june correct and this is celebrated across the globe with the theme that is parliament for the planet the day also marks the anniversary of the foundation of the interplanetary union the global organization of national parliaments that was founded on 30th of june in 1889 this year in 2023 it was 134th anniversary of ipu correct that is your interplanetary union next when was the theme or what was the theme of the national doctors day observed across india on 1st of july 2023 so the theme for the national doctors day right that is observed on 1st of july what is the theme here it is celebrating resilience and healing hands i repeat the theme for the national doctors day observed on 1st of july is celebrating resilience and healing hands the national observance of doctors day across india is led by ima that is indian medical association so option 3 is right here next when was the national chartered accountant day observed across india with the theme empowering financial excellence this is the theme remember empowering financial excellence 
and uh, national chartered accountants day that is your national ca day was observed across india on 1st of july 2023 with the theme empowering financial excellence 1st july 2023 it marked 75th anniversary and president of india draupadi murmu attended the ca foundation day that has also launched a new slebus at the shri fort auditorium in new delhi and this slebus is in line with the new education or national education policy 2020 next the dash gst 2023 was observed across india on 1st of july so it was the 6th edition of the gst day that was observed across india on 1st of july 2023 right it is the 6th edition of this day correct the first ever edition was observed in the year 2018 right which marked the first anniversary of gst day next when was the world sports journalist day observed across the globe so on 2nd of july every year we observe world sports journalist day and it is to acknowledge and honor the hard work of the sports journalist across the world the day also commemorates the foundation of the international sports press association right it was founded in 1924 in paris france right and this year 2023 it marks the 99th anniversary of the international sports association of india that is aips the first ever international sports day or first ever world sports journalist day not international sports day i repeat the first ever world sports journalist day was observed on 2nd of july in 1994 next when was your international plastic bag free day observed across the globe on 3rd of july every year we observe international plastic bag free day and it is to create awareness about the hazardous effect of the single use plastic bags on the environment the first ever international plastic bag free day was observed on 3rd of july 2008 correct and remember in 2002 bangladesh became the first country in the world to implement a ban on thin plastic bags as it clogged the drainage system during the floods so this is also important information for gk you should know next when was the united nations first ever international day of women in diplomacy observed across the globe so remember un's first ever international day of women in diplomacy diplomacy was observed across the globe on 24th of june 2023 and the theme here that you have to remember is breaking barriers shaping the future women in diplomacy for sustainable development i repeat breaking barriers shaping the future women in diplomacy for sustainable development correct so it is observed on 24th of june next when was the world zoonosis day observed across the globe on 6th of july we observe world zoonosis day and it is to raise awareness about the zoonosis or the zoonotic disease now what is this zoonotic disease this is the disease that is spread from animals into humans correct that is from animals to that is transfer to humans that are your those are your zoonotic disease and there are over 200 known zoonotic disease so far next when was the world kishwali language day observed across the globe by unesco so world kishwali language day observed across the globe on 7th of july 2023 this day is celebrated by which organization unesco and here there is a theme that you need to remember for this day that is unleashing kishwali's potential in the digital era right i repeat unleashing the kishwali's potential in the digital era this is the theme for the world kishwali language day observed on 7th of july the day highlights the role of kishwali language in promoting cultural diversity creating awareness and encouraging that dialogue among civilization and this year 2023 it marks the second commemoration of the world kishwali language day and kishwali is the first african language that was recognized by united nation next when was the 23rd national fish farmers day observed across india so on 10th of july 
remember national fish farmers day was observed and it is your 23rd edition of the national fish farmers day that was observed across the globe on 10th of july and it was to recognize the contributions of the fish farmers aquaculture industry professionals and other stakeholders towards sustainable development of the fish sector 10th july also marks the observance of the national fisheries development board foundation day correct and 10th of july also marks the observance of the 17th edition of the national fisheries development board foundation day correct next when was un's world population day observed across the globe so on 11th of july remember united nations world population day is observed across the globe and there is a theme that you need to remember for the same that is unleashing the power of gender equality uplifting the voices of women and girls to unlock our world's infinite possibilities i repeat unleashing the power of gender equality uplifting the voices of women and girls to unlock the world's infinite possibilities then remember which is the most populated country in the world it is our india and in 2023 india became the world's most populated country then world population day was first observed or the first ever edition was observed on 11th of july 1990 correct and it was celebrated across the globe in more than 90 countries next next is when was international malala day 2023 observed across the globe so remember on 12th of july international malala day was observed across the globe to honor the birthday of malala yousafzai malala yousafzai she is a pakistani education activist and a nobel prize laureate right she was honored with nobel prize in october in 2014 right and she was named a nobel prize winner at the age of 17 and the youngest ever person to be receiving this prize next next is when was the un world youth skill day observed across the globe with the scheme skilling teachers trainers and youth for transformative future so remember on 15th of july we observe un world youth skills day across the globe with the theme skilling teachers trainers and youth for a transformative future correct then here remember this was observed across the globe on 15th of july there is a theme for this that you need to remember that is skilling teachers trainers and youth for a transformative future i repeat as it is related to skilling so the theme is skilling teachers trainers and youth for a transformative future then the first ever edition of this day world youth skills day was observed on 15th of july 2015 correct next When was the Day of International Criminal Justice 2023 observed across the globe by ICC that is International Criminal Court so remember on 17th of July International Day of International Criminal Justice 2023 was observed across the globe by ICC and it is to commemorate the anniversary of the adoption of the Rome Statute of 1998 right and it was the founding treaty of icc that is international criminal court that day or the observance of this is also known as world day for international justice or international justice day in 2023 it was the 25th anniversary of the adoption of rome statute and the first ever day for or first ever day of international criminal justice was observed on 17th of july 2011 next what was the theme of un nelson mandela international day that was observed across the globe on 18th of july 2023 it is your climate food and solidarity i repeat un nelson mandela's international day was observed across the globe or it is observed on 18th of july and the theme here is climate food and solidarity the day also marks the birth anniversary of nelson mandela who was an eminent role who or who played an eminent role in creating non racial constitution and democratization or, or democratic south africa right then remember in 2023 we observed 105th birth anniversary of nelson mandela next when was the world snake day observed across the globe on 16th of july every year we observe world snake day and it is to raise awareness of the snakes 
in the world and also to recognize the importance of snakes and snake disbeliefs in our ecosystem then world snake day right was celebrated at the national zoological park that is in new delhi or we can say at zoo in new delhi and it was for the conservation of snakes by creating awareness about the different types of snakes in india currently there are 31 snakes of seven species presently in the zoo of india of zoo of delhi not india zoo of delhi next is when was the un international chess day observed across the globe so international chess day is observed across the globe on 20th of july right and it marks the significant role of chess as an affordable and inclusive activity and also to improve the overall intelligence quotient across the world this year it was the 99th anniversary of the international chess federation that was established in 1924 and the first ever un recognized world chess day was observed on 20th of july 2020 next international moon day when do we observe international moon day across the globe by un so it is observed also on 20th of july right and it marks the first anniversary or we can say that 20th of july marks the first anniversary of the landing of humans on moon and it was a part of apollo 11 lunar mission so remember we can say in the year 2023 20th of july 2023 it was the 54th anniversary of the apollo mission apollo 11 lunar mission right and this international moon day it was observed for the first time it was on 20th of july 2022 so we can say in 2023 it is your second edition of this day next when was national flag adoption day observed across the india so on 22nd of july we observed national flag adoption day and it was to commemorate the day on which the constituent assembly adopted the tricolor correct and remember it was adopted or india adopted our national flag in the year 1947 correct 22nd of july in 1947 india adopted our national flag our national flag was designed in 1923 by whom by pinglai venkya right next when was the pi approximation day observed across the globe on 22nd of july why because pi is 22 by 7 22 is the date for example and it is the month that is your july month so we can say on 27 or 22nd of july we observe this pi approximation day correct and this is also 3.14 next next is what is the theme of the world brain day that was observed across the globe on 22nd of july 2023 so what is the theme here brain health and disability leave no one behind important mark this brain health and disability leave no one behind this is the theme for the world brain day that was observed across the globe on 22nd of july and important is theme that you need to remember here when was the first time this was observed it was on 22nd of july in 2014 we observed the world brain day for the first time next national mango day national mango day was celebrated on 22nd of july and which is dedicated to the nutritious tropical food mango it was started by national horticulture board of india in 1987 right as the international mango festival to pay tribute to the mango next is your national broadcasting day on 23rd of july we observe the national broadcasting day and it is to commemorate the establishment of the indian broadcasting company that is in mumbai maharashtra right and remember this ibc it has been renamed to all india radio and this year in 2023 it was the 96th anniversary of all india radio which was formerly known as ibc correct next when was the income tax day or aikar divas observed across india so on 24th of july 2023 remember income tax day or your aikar divas is observed across the globe on 24th of july correct and it was to 
और इट इज बेसिकली ऑब्जर्व टू कमेमरेट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ आई टी इन इंडिया इन द ईयर एटीन सिक्सटी एंड रिमेंबर इन जुलाई ट्वेंटी फोर्थ जुलाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री इट मार्क हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी फोर्थ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ द आई टी डे नेक्स्ट वेन वॉज द वर्ल्ड इन विट्रो फर्टिलाइजेशन डे ऑब्जर्व अक्रॉस द ग्लोब ऑन ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ऑफ जुलाई वी ऑब्जर्व वर्ल्ड आई वी एफ डे एंड रिमेंबर विच इज द स्टेट दैट बिकेम द फर्स्ट स्टेट इन इंडिया टू प्रोवाइड आई वी एफ सर्विसेज फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट इट इज गोवा राइट इन द गोवा गवर्नमेंट हॉस्पिटल वी विल बी सींग द आई वी एफ विल बी प्रोवाइडेड फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट दैट इज योर इन विट्रो फर्टिलाइजेशन और दिस डे इज ऑल्सो कैन बी नोन एज ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ऑफ जुलाई वाई ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ऑफ जुलाई ओनली एज द आई वी एफ डे बिकॉज द फर्स्ट वर्ल्ड फर्स्ट टेस्ट यू बेबी वॉज बॉर्न ऑन ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ऑफ जुलाई इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी एट नेक्स्ट वॉट वॉज द थीम ऑफ यू एन वर्ल्ड ड्राउनिंग प्रिवेंशन डे दैट वॉज ऑब्जर्व अक्रॉस द ग्लोब ऑन ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ऑफ जुलाई सो द थीम हेयर इज एनी वन कैन ड्राउन नो वन शुड आई रिपीट वॉट वॉज द थीम ऑफ यू एन वर्ल्ड ड्राउनिंग प्रिवेंशन डे दैट वॉज ऑब्जर्व अक्रॉस द ग्लोब ऑन ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ऑफ जुलाई इट इज एनी वन कैन ड्राउन नो वन शुड एंड इट इज टू हाईलाइट द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ डेथ बाय ड्राउनिंग ऑन फैमिलीज एंड कम्युनिटीज एंड टू प्रोवाइड सोल्यूशन टू प्रिवेंट डेथ बाय ड्राउनिंग दिस ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री इट ऑब्जर्व द थर्ड वर्ल्ड ड्राउनिंग प्रिवेंशन डे एंड द फर्स्ट एवर डे वॉज ऑब्जर्व ऑन ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ऑफ जुलाई इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन नेक्स्ट वेन वॉज योर कारगिल विजय दिवस ऑब्जर्व अक्रॉस इंडिया सो कारगिल विजय दिवस इज ऑब्जर्व अक्रॉस इंडिया ऑन ट्वेंटी सिक्स ऑफ जुलाई राइट कारगिल विजय दिवस और योर कारगिल विक्ट्री डे इज ऑब्जर्व अक्रॉस द ग्लोब ऑन ट्वेंटी सिक्स ऑफ जुलाई and it is to mark the india's victory over pakistan in the kargil war of 1999 this year 2023 it was the 24th anniversary of the kargil vijay divas the operation that took during the war of 1997 was your operation vijay correct next next is when was international day for the conservation of mangrove ecosystem 2023 observed across the globe by united nations education scientific and cultural organization that is unesco so it is your 26th of july right unesco's international day for the conservation of the mangrove ecosystem 2023 was observed across the globe on 26th of july and it was to raise awareness of the significance of the mangrove ecosystem this day is also known as the world mangrove day and this year on 26th of july it marks the observance of the 8th international day for the conservation of the mangrove ecosystem and the first ever day was observed in the year 2016 next when was the 85th raising day of the central reserve police force observed across india so it is on 27th of july right crpf day was observed that is your central reserve police force and it is annually observed on 27th of july to commemorate the establishment of crpf that is india's largest central armed police force then this year 2023 it was the observance of the 85th raising day next what was the theme of the world hepatitis day 2023 that was observed across the globe on 28th of july by wh so it is one life one liver i repeat who's world hepatitis day 2023 was observed across the globe on 28th of july with the theme one life one liver correct and there was a campaign also that you can remember if asked so you will be well prepared that is the theme, uh, campaign here is we are not waiting right this is the campaign correct for world hepatitis day and the first ever world hepatitis day was observed in which year in 2011 next when was world nature conservation day observed across the globe it is on 28th of july right we observe the or this uh, world nature conservation day is observed on 28th of july and it is to create awareness about the importance of protecting natural resources and wildlife the day also raises the 
awareness among people about the risk of over exploitation of natural resources next international tiger day when do we observe this on 29th of july we observe national tiger day or your global tiger day not national international tiger day or your global tiger day and it is basically to prevent tiger what is the scientific name of tiger panthera tigris right and remember tiger protection act when did it came in 1973 then the first ever international tiger day was observed in the year 2010 if we look at some of the revision questions now next is luna 25 that crashed into moon is of which country so remember luna 25 right it is a failed mission because this satellite crashed into moon it was aiming to reach the south pole of moon but it is a failure mission now it is of russia and russia's first lunar mission in 75 years it was your luna 25 but it failed after crashing into moon correct so here the main objective of this luna 25 is to explore the composition of polar regolith and investigate the plasma and dust components of lunar polar explore of one year right so it was basically to explore the south pole for almost one year and study about various components dust particles there we can found and it is a recently a failure mission similarly chandrayaan 3 is also aiming to launch uh, to land on south pole and soon we will see the good news and whole of the world is waiting for india to land on the south pole because if they do so india will become the first country in the world to land on the south pole of the moon next next is which country has won the fifa women's world cup 2023 it is for the first time that they have won this world cup and it is spain right spain's women football team they have won the fifa women's world cup by defeating england in the finals by 1-0 in the stadium of australia in sydney australia and this is for the first time that spain's women football team has won the world cup and they were nicknamed la rosa sweden won the bronze medal by defeating australia and the ninth edition of the fifa world cup co-hosted for the first time by australia and new zealand was held from 20th of july to 20th of august so remember this was the ninth edition of the fifa women's world cup it was hosted by australia and new zealand right and who won this it is spain's women football team that has won the fifa women's world cup and they defeated england in the final by 1-0 next next is sadbhavana divas or harmony day it is observed on 20th of august across india and this is to celebrate the birth anniversary of india's sixth prime minister rajiv gandhi that is your sadbhavana divas so sadbhavana divas aims to encourage peace national integration and communal harmony among all the religion and the day offers a platform for the people to take the pledge to establish peace harmony around them so coming back sadbhavana divas also known as harmony day is annually celebrated across 20th of august and it is celebrated on the birth anniversary of india's sixth prime minister rajiv gandhi this year in 2023 it was the 79th birth anniversary of former prime minister rajiv gandhi who was born in 1944 next which state has implemented one district one product scheme it is implemented by gujarat then which government is planning to build a dam worth 6134 crore rupees it is being built by and it is haryana government imt kharkhoda is also in haryana government ev plant that will be designed by maruti suzuki is coming in this imt kharkhoda next thing remember if we are talking about third edition of g20 anti corruption working group meeting where this will be held this will be held in kolkata next which academy has joined and became the 10th member of interpol global academy network it is cbi academy which is located in ghaziabad uttar pradesh then meri mati mera desh meri mati mera desh this is the campaign launched by which state it was launched by maharashtra or if the name of person is asked chief minister to eknath shinde launched this meri mati mera desh campaign then which is the 21st iim it is iim mumbai 
correct it is located in maharashtra and national institute of industrial engineering has became the 21st im of india then next remember mo jangal jami yojana mo jangal jami yojana as the name suggest mo it is related to odisha next next is khel maharan which state will organize this khel maharan it is assam government right then next tell me india's first agriculture data exchange was launched by telangana india's first agriculture data exchange then a web app by the name sin suchana sin suchana is the name of a web application that was launched by which state chief minister it was launched by gujarat's chief minister then cm solar mission this was launched by which state it was launched by meghalaya cm solar mission then recently which uh, in which state center has approved the establishment of a new space port new space port so it is in tamil nadu next remember recently uh, odisha government is planning to open csp plus banking outlets in 4373 gram panchayats correct next remember which state government is planning to build country's largest it hub in lucknow as i mentioned lucknow lucknow is in up so it is your uttar pradesh government that is planning to develop country's largest it hub there next next remember global maritime india summit this will be held in october then make my trip has partnered with tourism ministry to showcase india then next remember purushottam rupala he launched a help program and which state launched this a help program it was launched in gujarat right then which state will be providing ivf treatment free of cost in government hospital it is goa then next tell me who will launch which country will launch brick bricks startup forum so brick startup forum will be launched by our country india right and which country will be buying india's dornier 228 not 228 which country is planning to buy india's dornier aircraft that are manufactured by hindustan aeronautics limited it is gaina and remember india as a friendly gesture delivered dornier 228 second dornier 22 aircraft to sri lanka as a friendly gesture right when was the national javelin day observed across india remember it was a second ever edition of this national javelin day correct this day was observed for the second time when on 7th of august 2023 so remember on 7th of august in 2021 this was the first ever edition uh, on in 2022 sorry it was the first ever edition as neera chopra has won gold medal for india in the tokyo 2020 tokyo olympic games correct and neera chopra he is from haryana he won the gold medal in this javelin throw so in order to remember this national javelin day will be observed across india on 7th of august to commemorate the day on which neera chopra won the gold medal for india in the tokyo 2020 games and he became the first asian athlete to win an olympic gold in the men's javelin throw so it was started it was declared uh, it was started and the first ever edition was observed in 2022 then the second edition is being observed this year in 2023 right and remember on 11th of august in 2021 it was athletics federation of india that declared that 7th of august every year from 2022 onwards will be observed as your national javelin day next name the bank that recently inaugurated 34 transaction banking hubs across 21 district centers across india so it is your state bank of india they have recently inaugurated 34 transaction banking hubs across 21 centers across india these hubs will aim to provide efficient and quick banking transaction facilities to the customers here sbi's goal is to meet all customer needs and offer comprehensive solutions for transaction payment and collection requirement in one place 
the bank aims to transform their transaction banking services and current account related offerings to enhance their customer experience so these 34 transaction banking hubs across 21 district states will be uh, district centers will be set up by state bank of india right next remember sbi is also the bank that has launched their bank uh, they have launched their own bank that is specifically dedicated to funding the startups first of which was launched in bangalore and a group in a similar kind of branch will be also opening in gurgaon soon next in august dash constituted a sectoral committee to frame the unique regulatory landscape and address challenges that are faced by dash members banks operating within the jif city in gandhinagar gujarat so remember iba indian banks association they recently constituted a sectoral committee that was framed to unique regulatory landscape that is to frame various unique landscapes or various uh, unique regulations that will be focusing and challenge uh, focusing and solving the problems of the banks of which area of specifically of jift city gandhinagar gujarat right and this sectoral committee that was set up by iba consist of 26 members i repeat so iba they will be setting up this sectoral committee that consists of 26 members and it is for all the banks that are operating within the jift city gandhinagar gujarat various challenges that are faced by them and to solve those problems this committee was set up the committee is intended to function as a bridge that will be connecting the banking sector and the regulatory bodies ensuring effective communication and resolution of concerns and perspectives of the banks that are in jif city gandhinagar gujarat correct so right option here is indian bank association and this will be a 26 member sectoral committee which defense sector has recently secured a patent for accident prevention system based on artificial intelligence to enhance the road safety and mitigate accidents it is our indian army correct they secured a patent and basically these patents are for 10 years remember that so indian army secured the patient patents for an accident prevention system based on artificial intelligence this will enhance the road safety and reduce the accidents this is developed within the army's indian army's research and development division and colonel kuldeep yadav have been credited with this prevention system correct next thing remember this patent is valid for a duration of 20 years right it's so not 10 years corrected it is valid for 20 years so right option here is indian army have the patent for this accident prevention system based on artificial intelligence so friends these were your important current affairs for the topic important days for the month of july if you find the session to be interesting do like the video and comment below and let us know what are your views for the same doing this will motivate me to make better content for you in the long run so that's all for the day thank you and have a nice day that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is seven six double seven triple three eight six two apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas 10 you will be getting an additional extra 10 percent discount by using this code vikas 10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is nine six double seven double three three eight six two and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue